Hey guys, before we get started, please could you leave a like and subscribe? It took an absolute age to finish this video, so I really would appreciate it. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my shed, and today we're going to be installing the electronics in the Balsa Wood FT Spear. So the first step that we need to make today is that we need to remove the old electronic components from the foam board FT Spear and reinstall them into the Balsa Wood Spear. Um, there's a couple of things we need to get done there. We need to take the servos out, the ESCs and the motor, as well as the video controller and stuff like that. And then we're going to put that into the new, obviously the, the balsa wood sphere. The only other thing that we're going to be adding on is a flight controller, which is essentially a central computer, as some of you will know, that will control um, a number of functions within the airplane's flight. And it's just sort of a central hub for everything to plug into and makes things a whole lot simpler. But let's get into it and let's see how we, how we get. Okay, so this is the Matex Systems F722 wing flight controller and these are the pins that come along with it. The first step I need to do in order to get this thing up and running is to solder these pins onto the board. I found the diagram of where to put which color just to make my life a little bit easier. But let's get into doing that. Okay, so the next plan is we need to figure out where we're going to be putting each of the components. So more than likely we're going to have the flight controller situated around about here. And then on either on one wing we're going to have the video transmitter, the cameras we need to install into the power pod in the front, the speed controller which needs to be exposed to the air in order to yeah, lose temperature as quick as possible so it doesn't overheat, needs to be stuck on here with the motor at the back. And then we've obviously got the servo holes installed here. So let's get on that and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so I've been fighting extensively to get this little piece of kit working. But I have finally managed to get it right. Just to give you a little bit of an explanation as to how this piece of kit works. Is that the battery then connects through into here. We have a receiver which will talk to the controller which plugs into a port called UART2 over there then we have the video transmitter which is on a long extra cable just to make sure that it fits nicely and then we can put it away from everything else that plugs into here the reason that it's so far out is to avoid any interference 
The camera itself has been resoldered to have a um, three pin connector and the camera then also plugs into the board like so. The servos plug into servo number one and two respectively and need to be plugged in to well then put onto the aeroplane as the right ones. Finally we have the exact same speed controller with a bit of muck on it. I'll clean that up and the motor that will plug into here and this servo connector plugs into the board over here. From that I've had to now reprogram and set it up and everything but now it's time to put this guy into the aeroplane. Okay since the last video I've installed the FPV camera and I've just drilled a little hole here to fit the cable through. I have looked into where I'm going to put the main bit of the flight controller and that's going to have to fit in here. Um, it does make it a little bit difficult though because it's now too tall so when you put the cables in it sits too high and it'll run everything a bit too high but what I'm going to do is just drop the um, flight controller by about two and a half to four mils and then we will have it, it in where it needs to be and everything will be able to attach from there and then we'll get going but first I have to remove the hatch Okay, well there we are. The flight controller is installed. It is sitting on top of a piece of Velcro one side hot glued onto the aeroplane and other side hot glued onto the flight controller purely because I'm going to take it off at another stage and put it on another aeroplane. At the back here you'll see that I've installed the receiver. The one cable runs out here and the other one is going to stand up in the corner here. They need to be at 90 degrees from one another and I've gone ahead and plugged in the receiver and the camera. The next step is now to put in the video transmitter on that wing and the speed controller and motor on the back and then we'll be ready for monocoat. There is the video transmitter antenna installed. I installed the actual device underneath the wing because there needs to be airflow over it to prevent it from overheating and then in my not so clever moments I thought I could run the cable through here all the way in to the flight controller but instead I ended up going around in and out again in a bit of a, back, a backward way into the front of the flight controller here and using a little bit of masking tape just to make sure that the cable stays where we want it to. But we're getting there. It seems to be just the servos left and the motor. So there you have it, everything is done electronics wise. We have managed to get the camera installed. The flight controller is also installed and working, fortunately. Speed controller and the motor is in. We've got a new fancy receiver that's in here so that it can talk to the speed controller. I've only installed one of the two servos, purely because the other servos are on the fritz. So I wanted to make sure I've got a decent one in the airplane. We've also installed the video transmitter, well the antenna, and on the other side, the video transmitter. But yeah, that's it. 
Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It has been a very difficult journey, this one, getting this right. But we are almost done. We just need to cover it in monocoat and then we take it for a test flight. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.